Look no further than the Pork and Plants Farm and Greenhouses outside of Altura to find an example of Minnesota's can-do spirit and entrepreneurship in the clean energy sector. Folks here are converting row crop farmland to native grasses and cover crops for bioenergy production. The biomass is eventually harvested, pelletized on farm, and used as a heating source for the greenhouses. The whole project with biomass pretty much all got started based on our family business with the greenhouse. Uh, having a greenhouse in the northern hemisphere and growing year round, it takes a tremendous amount of energy to heat those greenhouses all year. So that's kind of what fueled this whole project. The project originally started when Eric walked into our office and presented the idea to us uh, of growing native grasses on some ground to get uh, to grow his own energy, if you would say. Our involvement with uh, Pork and Plants and Eric's project here actually started in December of 2007. Eric contacted us and um, one of the things we have at AURI is a pilot plant with a pelleting facility, pellet mills and so forth. And Eric approached us and he had the idea of, he had bought the pellet mills already and we know the story of what he did here, trying to de develop his own biomass pellet fuel. Uh, the big thing for pelleting that I, got, that, that I really got interested into was the idea of having this fuel, or this stable fuel source. Everything that I've used in the past, from LP gas to, to shell corn, which is a, I, I like as a fuel source, but the problem is the volatility, volatility of price. Both those products are speculator driven nowadays. There's no, there really is no true supply and demand anymore. So when you're doing cash flows on a business model, it gets kind of hard. You stay, take for you know, take for granted. But, you know, take example of corn. When I got into it, I bought corn as cheap as a dollar fifteen a bushel. When I got when I kind of switched to the pelleting, we were as high as seven dollars a bushel. Um, we hear and we we see a lot of information on on the TV about utilizing renewable energy, biomass sources. But what's so unique about this one is it's locally grown energy. He took a huge step taking row crop land and putting in perennial grasses to use as an energy source. When you look at the economics, you know, if, if most of these biomass crops have around 7,000 BTUs per pound, with the pelleting you can, you end up with a pelleted product that is probably $120, $125 a ton. And we were able to uh, network them and write a grant to CERTS to help fund for some soil testing to get some baseline information because once you get the baseline information you can start building off that and writing other grants to start fueling some of the work and stuff uh, research that needed to be done. One of my personal interests is the native prairie and that was in 07 I planted 20 acres of my, of my farmland in the native prairie. Uh, unfortunately it was kind of a double whammy that, that was the start of when the commodity prices really got one high. high. If you ask my neighbors those couple years, those first couple years of like 07, 08, they'd look at you and think I'm, you know, think I'm insane. You know, I, put, I took pretty good productive land out of production and put it into this research and out of my own pocket. Land that is reconstructed in prairie instead, over time, builds up soil fertility. So I'm very interested in exploring and studying the ecology of reconstructed prairie strips to find perhaps knowledge that can become applicable on making the cultivated field more sustainable. And the main reason is, you know, I'm personally driven with this idea of, of being in the energy independent, you know, of state, you know of, let's say of not having all these external forces on us saying we got to pay this no matter what you, you know, what's going on out there. Uh, the other side of it is, is the environmental side. That's why the, nat the natives are still one of my personal interests, if we can figure it all out, is the environmental benefits of, of doing something besides production agriculture, you know, conventional row crops. 